Go. Burn injuries, gruesome, yes. Painful, emotionally and physically debilitating. Don't you think that these patients deserve the best care they can possibly receive? I'm Peggy Simpson and I'm the nurse manager at the Firefighters Regional Bird Center and today I'm going to convince you why you need to send your patients to our bird center. I'm going to discuss the recommendations from the experts. We're going to talk about our state-of-the-art facilities and we're also going to talk about some quality key indicators that are recommended for all facilities caring for bird patients. So let's start with the recommendations from the experts. The American College of Surgeons, in conjunction with the American Bird Association, published a book in 2007 called Resources for Optimal Care of the Injured Patient, which listed the criteria for patients to be transferred to a burn center. As you can see, any patient with a partial thickness burn greater than 10%, third degree burns, chemical burns, and many other burns that are listed on the screen should be transferred to a burn care facility. Zonies and et al. in their article in 2010, Verified Centers, Non-Verified Centers, or Other Facilities, a National Analysis of Burn Patient Location, stated many patients meeting American Burn Association criteria for transfer to a burn center are being treated at non-burn center facilities. This becomes a medical legal issue that you want to think about when you're caring for patients. Now, there's also a recommendation that a specialized team takes care of burn patients. This starts with your physicians, your nurses, it includes dietitians, the social worker, all the way down to the environmental service worker who cleans the rooms. These patients are very specialized and need extra care and this team needs to be educated as such. Now let's look at our facilities. Our burn center is essentially a hospital within a hospital. We care for these patients from admission into our emergency room all the way through to discharge. We also can care for these patients on an outpatient basis and manage their rehab therapy. We also have many, many pieces of specialized equipment, such as heaters in the ceiling. I mean, do most hospitals have heaters in the ceiling? They don't, and that's a real problem for burn patients. We also have trolleys for wound care, which I'm gonna show you in a later slide. This is our burn emergency room. As you can see, it is set up to take care of the specialized need of the burn injured patient. Our burn intensive care unit is seven beds that is set up to manage the infection problems that they have and also their larger rooms to manage all of the equipment that we use when caring for these patients. The burn intensive care has monitored beds and also state-of-the-art care supplied by those specialized nurses and the rest of the team. The equipment that we use is a little bit different than for some other patients and these are just a couple of examples of what we use. Treatment facilities, these patients require dressing changes on a daily basis, and this is the trolley bed that I spoke of earlier, where these patients can be cleansed each day to help prevent infection. Our burn step down also has monitored beds, reason being even though these patients can move out of an ICU setting, they still have many, many issues that require them to be monitored closely. Our operating room is set up different than most operating rooms, we do have access 24-7. We have a specialized team that cares for these patients and are very familiar with doing burn wound excisions, skin grafts. The operating room is about 95 degrees, which is very unusual. There's not another operating room even in our hospital that gets this warm. These patients require daily therapy. They have individualized programs that are set up for each patient. They spend hours a day in therapy, again, being treated by those specialized occupational therapists and physical therapists. Our wound care clinic is where our burn patients are seen after discharge and also if they do not need to be admitted to the hospital from our emergency room. These patients can have, be followed up for weeks, up to years, to manage their scar and reconstruction. 
We also have a multiplex hyperbaric chamber. We, this is only one of a couple in the country. This is the inside and allows you to take very intensively sick patients into the hyperbaric chamber to help with smoke inhalation and also wound healing. Now let's talk about the quality indicators. Everyone in the American College of Surgeons and the American Burn Association recommends that any facility caring for burn patients be verified. In the verification section of the American Burn Association website, it states that 63 out of the approximately 125 burn centers in the U.S. are verified. We are one of those verified burn centers. Also in the resources fact sheet on the American Burn Association website, there are 47,000 U.S. acute care hospitals that average less than three burn patients per year. If you don't care for burn patients every day, you cannot be able to do it well. We see 500 patients in our emergency room and admit about 250 patients per year. Also, the National Burn Repository in 2012 stated that the national average length of stay was one day for every 1% of the body. Ours is 0.86 days. We also have an extensive research program who offers treatments to our patients that otherwise would not receive those. So in conclusion, we meet all of the recommendations from experts for a verified burn center. We have state-of-the-art facilities designed to treat these patients. We meet or exceed quality indicators, and we are passionate about caring for these patients. So the next time that patient rolls through your emergency room, remember, call us because we are willing to care for those patients well.